Hey, what's up everyone? This is Jackson from Windows Win Hacker, and I'm just going to give you a quick look at the latest version of WPH Tweaks. Uh, so I haven't made a video about WPH Tweaks in a little bit, so I just thought I'd keep everyone up to date with what's going on with it. Um, so basically the interface is pretty much the same. Um, I did clean up the top of it in some earlier versions uh, to give more room for the toggles. Um, and in this version, I've cleaned out a lot of things that we don't need anymore. Uh, I've also removed a couple of settings in here that were causing problems for issue, uh, some issues for people and um, clarified a couple of things uh, that people were asking me about. No wireless charge is not to toggle, you know, wireless charging on your phone. It's a joke. It, you know, makes it look like your phone's charging. Anyway, um, but um, I also added in a little tool I want to show you guys called Change Splash. Okay, so Change Splash is sort of something I created um, you know, as the name suggests, to change the splash screen on your phone. Um, and there is a splash changer somewhere on WPH right now that lets you change the splash, but it's really quite a pain to use. So this is sort of an experimental feature I added in there. Um, and I have a gallery where you can scroll through and add a couple of, uh, you know, choose something you want to change your splash screen to. Um, and since it's experimental, I haven't really added much to it, but, um, you know, if you're interested and want something added to it, um, you know, I can add that to it for you. Or um, I also was working on a feature to add your own custom image based on uh, files on the device. But the conversion from JPEG to uh, you know a Windows bitmap is a little bit of a pain. I was going to do it over the cloud, but I'm not sure you know if that'll really work. But if there's demand for it, I'll cook it in there. So just let me know on that. Um, but again, this is sort of an experimental feature to see you know if people actually you know care about what their splash looks like. Uh, but how it works, you just choose a splash. It says the splash has changed. Uh, if it has to download it, it'll tell you it's downloading. You just tap OK. Um, but I do that, then I head back, and I tap Restart Phone. It says goodbye. And it'll boot up again. And hopefully... And there we have sort of a nice Windows 8 um, splash screen on the phone. And then it goes to the regular animation, which we can't change. Um, so, I mean, it's a really simple feature I cooked in, but I want to see if people are interested in using it. Um, and then other than that, I've made a couple of uh, tweaks and changes to the tweaks application itself. Um, so a bit of irony there. But um, if you have any feedback or suggestions for it, of course, let me know. Other than that, I'm just going to get back to working on a couple of Windows Phone 7 things. Um, as well as a few Windows Phone 8 things I'm working on and I can't quite release yet because of a couple of weird things that have to occur. So it's really just sort of a timing issue. Um, but again, I'll just get back to work on that stuff and you guys give me some feedback on that and that'll be great. Have a great day.